everybody, how are you all? Sorry I've not been on, um, I've had a chest infection um, amongst other things and you know what it is, life goes on, days go by, before you know it, two weeks have gone past. <coughs> excuse me. So I'm coming to the end of this chest infection, um, so excuse me if I still cough a little bit. Anyway, what else was I going to say? Hello, how are you all? I've already said that. I repeat myself, and I. Um, so I, I've come on today, I've just got a few little bits to show you, um, um, and that is uh, home bargains and pound shop. Now, um, the pound shop one, well, no, it's a bit from the home bargains as well, is um, preparing for our holidays. So I've got a few bits and pieces um, for when we go away. So me and Sean are planning our next trip um, over the next few weeks um, to Spain. And I'm just making myself a drink, sorry. And um, yeah, so we're planning, I am here. <laughs> I'm just getting a herbal tea out of the cup and coming in. Right, sorry, I should have done this first. Apologies, apologies. Right. Okay. Um, yeah, so we're planning a little, um, a um, short trip away just to Spain and then back to Florida towards the end of the year. Um, yeah, so, um, and, and of course, we can't, I can't go away to um, a, a longer period because Lou is due to have a baby that's come around so quick in the, next month. So she's only got like five weeks left. So not long to go now. So I'm trying to plan the next sort of, well, I can only pr probably plan, um, you know, like two to three weeks in advance um, because I need to be around. Um, so we're kind of trying to work, trying to get away um, pro probably after she's had the baby. So I'm, pr I'm pr buying some bits and pieces anyway to, to take away. So I thought, while, I, while I'm here, um, I'll just show you what I've got. Anyway, so we do home bargains first. So home bargains, I've bought, you know me and my flip-flops. Love flip-flops. So bought these, ah, oh, now let me see if I can find the receipt because I don't know how much these were actually. We might have to come back to those. I always do this, don't I? I always do this with these bloody receipts. It's in this bag somewhere. Anyway, so flip-flops. I'm going to guess two quid, between one fifty and two pound. Um, they're just your kind of lefty print or cheetah print, whatever you want to call it, with some little gemstones all the way along there. Um, yeah, I live in flip-flops. So they're, me, they're for going away in, little flip-flops. I won't put them on the table, I'll put them on the chair. Um, some other bits. Now, these are bits which I'll take with me. Um, I got... <laughs> When, I don't know about you lot, but when I'm on a beach, I like to have a drink, right? Now, you know me, I like a drink anyway, a cocktail or a nice, you know, glass of bubbly or whatever. So I picked up from in there as well, I think these were 89p. Um, these are plastic uh, wine, wine goblets, if you like. I'm just seeing if there's a price on the bottom. No, but they can go in the dishwasher. You can't put them in the freezer. Well, why would you? Um, but let them go in the dishwasher. They're plastic, so they're good for outdoors. Um, what else have I got? Picked up some more of my chamomile tea. I've showed you these bits before, haven't I? What are they? 55 or 65 piece, something like that. Um, and then back to, uh, no, no, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's just carry on. I, I'm going to do like, I was going to do sections, but I won't bother. I'm just going to show you as I get it out. Um, but I, I actually got these to take away with me as well. Um, I find when you're abroad, um, especially places in Europe like Spain, Greece or whatever, you can't get tea bags out there. Um, and I don't really drink tea, you know, like milk tea. Um, I always drink either when I'm away, the lemon, hot lemon or um, a herbal tea. So I've picked up some of those to take with me when I go. Um, also, still staying on the theme, me, ho me holiday theme, um, some lattes. I'll take this out of the box um, and I do wrap them in cling film or little clear bags just in case they split and the powder goes everywhere. But 
you know, they're, they're easy and they're lightweight just to take in your case. Um, so we've got some of those as well. Um, miniature shave gel. Um, this was this was more than a pound, I think, for the miniature shave gel. I've I, I got this for Sean, actually. Um, but occasionally I do use it on my legs. Um, but if I don't use this, I just use conditioner on my legs. Um, and it works perfectly all right, and I've done that for years and years. Um, yeah, so anyway, little miniature... Uh, shave gel to go. Um, sun creams. These were these were about three, I think I think three sixty nine. It's a double packet. It's Malibu. Now I've gone through many different. Um, I need to say flavors. Many different varieties of makes of sun cream. And I always do a little tester first because of my skin. Always do a tester first. And I've used Malibu for years. And it's always been perfectly all right for me. It's very inexpensive. £3.69 for two bottles. So you've got your after sun, uh, which normally has aloe vera in it, actually. But that doesn't say it. Um, they're 200ml bottles. Uh, so you've got your after sun. After you've had a shower, obviously. And I've got a 30 factor. But I've also got a spray as well, <clears throat> and this is another make I've used before and, and it doesn't affect my skin, is Calypso. This was about, this was under £3 as well, um, and it's just a bit of um, dry spray, uh, deep tanning oil, and it's a medium, but it's also got your UVA and your UVB protector in it as well, which should have the same with um, um, this one as well. It doesn't say it on the front, so it might say it on the back. This is your 30 SPF. Uh, and this is water resistant as well. Uh, this is also also water resistant, um, but it says it accelerates your tanning. So, um, yeah. So that's my sun creams. Um, what else do I take? Toothpaste, I always take toothpaste. I normally, actually what I normally do is if I've got like half a tube left here, then I'll take that because then I won't bring it back. Um, so I normally take that and I just leave it there if we haven't finished it. Um, that's what I normally do. And I think, I don't know what's upstairs, but anyway, but if not, then I'll, I'll just take a box of toothpaste. Um, but yeah, I generally take toiletries, but I don't bring them back again. Um, and then biscuits. I have to take biscuits. Now, even though I don't generally drink tea when I'm away, and that's only because it's hot. Occasionally, I might, I might have a cup of tea in the morning um, with, with a biscuit. So occasionally, not always. Um, so anyway, so I've just got me, me, and these are like fifty p, I think, for your shortbread biscuits there. Then I've got some deodorant. Again, I, I, I just like Dove. These are a pound. Um, I have the Dove shower gel. I have the Dove uh, deodorant, Dove soap. I, I just like, I like it. Um, and again, what I do is, if I've got half a bo bottle upstairs, which I have, I'll take that one, leave this one here, and then I'll just leave it there. It goes in the cupboard for another day. Um, what else have I got? Anything to yeah, okay, so I'm gonna also gonna take some wipes. So um we have um in our cupboard out there, um we've got cleaning stuff, you know, and um I always take um some cleaning wipes, they're just handy, I, you know, just take them, they run I think there was like 69p or something like that. They're just handy, get them out, wipe all your sides down. Um, so, I'll, and then I'll, I'll leave these there as well. Just saves me going up the supermarket when I get there and buying it all, you know? Um, and then, um, what else have I got to take with me? Nothing to take with me in that bag. A couple of bits in that bag, but let's just finish this one first, then I can put this away. My soda for here. <laughs> Every time I do home bargains, I've always got soda under the cough. <coughs> Excuse me. Every time I do home bars, I've always got soda. It's because I use it so often. And it's actually, it used to be 69p, it's now 99p. Um, floor cleaner, 
I use, I don't actually use floor clean, and I've probably said this to you before, I use a combination of this um, and the white vinegar and hot, hot water, and sometimes put a bit of fairy liquid in it to make it hot soapy water when I'm doing my floors. Uh, but tomorrow, um, my Lou's having a baby shower, so I'm doing the decorations for that. So if you follow me on my page, I will upload the photos probably, if not tomorrow night, after the baby shower, it'll be on Monday, so you can have a look at all the baby shower. And you can see Lou the big, with her big bump as well. So I'll be uploading that. So that's on, if, if I'll leave the details, but if you go on my profile of, on YouTube, you'll see it should say on there, the link to my page if, if you do facebook or, or the business page on it on it um but it's bits bobs and bubbles so have a look on there in a couple of days time and you'll see it um so while i'm at the baby shower sean's going to be doing cleaning for me Woo! so i've let he won't think he won't use this if i say to him right get this you do this you do that he'll go i'm not doing that i'm just going to use floor cleaner so I thought, I'm just going to buy my bottle for floor cleaner. So I literally got the Astonish um, Zesty Lemon. I don't know what it's like. I've never used it. And again, that oh, I'm going to guess maybe a pound, something like that. So I'll leave that there for him because he's going to do be doing the cleaning, which is good because I've been just, yeah, crazy busy. And I've got flowers everywhere and I've got reefs everywhere. Not in here, but in the other part of the house. Um... Parcel tape because I've been doing reefs and I've been posting them, so I just needed some parcel tape. Bleach, boys got bleach. 69p is the bleach now. Used to be 45 or 39, so that's gone up. Um, kitchen foil, always got kitchen foil. That's about 99p. Um, I'm memorising the prices as I'm picking them up now. Next. More bleach. Let's chop over there. <clears throat> uh, shower gel. This is, again, these are bits I'm buying to take away with me. This is just a shower gel. Um, again, I'll do the same thing. If I've got half a bottle upstairs, that will come out, and this one will replace it and stay here. Um, yeah, I was going to say something else then, and it's gone out of my mind. Um, deodorant for Sean, obviously. Uh, my little... Uh, waste bags there for here. I always buy those. Always buy them. They're going to compost bin. Done. I always take away with me as well pens because <laughs> I I've got a, a really nice. Lou bought me a really nice Roski pen um, for even my birthday Christmas last year. Um, I don't want to take it with me in case I lose it. You know, because it's a nice one. So I always like to have a pen in my bag. Always, always, always. But um, I thought, oh, well, I'm just going to buy a packet so I can have like three or four in my bag. <laughs> and then I'll have a, a couple spare here as well. So just your big pens, nothing fancy there. And notebooks. Um, all I wanted was just a notebook so that when I'm out and about, if I, what I do, and it's that's the crafty side in me, when I'm out and about, especially abroad, and I'm looking at their different things, if I spot something, I think I'm going to make that. I have to write notes, so I make notes of it, you know. So I've always got, when I'm away, in my beach bag, a notebook and a couple of pens. So these are just four in a packet, and I, they was about, I think, 120 or 119 for four, um, four notepads. So I'll be taking a couple of notepads with me. Toothbrushes. We, you know, like, we're coming to the end. If Sean's got an electric toothbrush... I can't get on with an electric, electric toothbrush, so I just have an ordinary toothbrush. But I do change my toothbrushes every, I'm going to say four months, possibly, something like that. So I'm kind of coming to that period where I, I need a new toothbrush. And also, um, I will leave one here and then I've got a blue one and a pink one to take away with this as well. And they was about a pound as well. Um, they've been coming. What else have we got? Some sweets from the plane. Not for me, for Sean, you know, but it's like with sweets. <clears throat> More biscuits, but they're for here for when I get back. <laughs> I 
I'm saying that as if I'm going like that, like tomorrow or something. I'm not. I'm just getting myself organised. So I haven't got to do it as a last minute thing because then as the weeks are going on or, you know, whatever, um, I can I'll keep myself a little checklist, which... Oh, where's that? Oh, no. Yeah, I'll show you something in a minute. Uh, so a little checklist so I can look at it and go, oh, yeah, I've got that, I've got that, I've got that. And then what I haven't got, I know I've got plenty of time to get it. So I'm just getting myself organised. Um, wet wipes. I've always got, when we go on the beach, there's two, two, two things I need to do, actually, uh, be a good one, a beach bag. What's in Nikki's beach bag? Um, if I get time, I'll do one. Um, but that will contain, and one of the things I put in my beach bag when I go to the beach is wipes. Whatever wipes. I normally pick up baby wipes because they're softer for you and better for your skin. I, I find they're not harsh. And these are the Dove. So baby Dove for sensitive skin. When you're like that, and this, that's a, the two things I always put in there are wet wipes, um, obviously to wipe your face, your hands, whatever, and talcum powder. Talcum powder, especially when I've got the kids with me. So if we've been on a beach and we've got the kids, wet wipes for the kids, and talcum powder because the sand gets between your toes, it sticks. But if you put your talcum powder on your feet and, and dust it all off, it just brushes the grains of sand away. And the little ones, so like um, like Dolly, for instance, she's only uh, two. So, you know, wearing nappies and that, if they're on the beach and the sand's all around their nappy area, get a bit of talcum powder, rub it all around them and it keeps their skin nice and soft and it doesn't rub and be gritty on their skin, you know? So they're the two things I always recommend, especially if you've got kids, is talcum powder and baby wipes. So that's the wipes. They were the baby dove wipes. Again, I'm gonna guess maybe one fifth, well, between a pound and 150, something like that. Uh, more deodorant. Oh, there's the receipt, but I kind of remembered most of the stuff there anyway, it's over there. Um, I picked myself up some more wool because I'm still doing bits and pieces for the baby and she likes these colours. Um, so I'm doing a couple of bits there. Um, this is for here. Um, I've been in home bargains. I can never get, even though I use this on my stairs, but I also like, um, uh, like shape and vac because I quite like the smell of it. There's a particular one, a vanilla one I get. And I quite like the smell of it. So I might go over with this and then just go and just lightly dust in with the other one. Um, and home bargains never do it. They never, never do shake and vac or, or any carpet. The only carpet freshener I think they do in there is, is it Nutra? Neutralizer? Nu or something like that. But I don't like the smell of them. I just don't like it. So I don't, I, I think I have bought it in the past, but I'm not that keen on it. So anyway, God, I went off on one then, didn't I? Sorry, that got a bit boring. Um, but what I bought is, this is a um, foam freshener for carpet, a room freshener and upholstery. So I'm gonna give this one a go. It says no need to vacuum and it eliminates odors. It's by Fabulosa and it's blueberry sugar, whatever that is. Oh yeah, it does smell quite sweet actually. So I'm going to give that one a go, especially when we've got the dogs here, Bruno or Vinny. Um, Bruno, if he's staying at our house, always sleeps at the top of the stairs on the landing. And um, we haven't really had Vinny that much overnight. Um, but you do get a, a doggy smell. So I try to keep, you know, keep keep it as the carpets as fresh as I possibly can, as you know. Um, so I thought I'll give that one a go. I'm not sure how much that is, but to be honest with you, looking on the receipt, nothing on my receipt is is over two pound. The flip flops were one ninety nine, and that was the dearest thing I bought in home bargains. No, that's a lie. The sun cream three sixty nine. I said it was three sixty nine. That is the dearest thing I bought in there. Um, yeah. Right now. Okay, right, back to my little holiday stash. Um, I just picked up some razors. In fact, I've got these at the pound shop, actually. Um, I don't know if these was more than a pound. Uh, let me look. Oh, no, they weren't. Yes, they were. 
Yes, they were. So just some razors and they were two pound um, to take. Um, a travel plug. This is the EU one, a pound. All of these bits in here, all these bits in, oh, they were 50p. Oh, I'll come to that in a second. Most of the bits in here was, was a pound. Um, travel plug. Hopefully it'll work. I've got an inflatable pillow. Now, when I'm on a beach or by the pool, I like to have a pillow. I normally take on the beach with me my neck pillow, what you have on the plane, one of those. Always take that with me. So I've got that for the plane and I have it on the beach. And I thought, well, I'm going to take this for Sean because he always says to me, well, where's my pillow then? Um, so I thought, well, we'll try this. This is a pound. In red, I think they had red and possibly black. It's an inflatable pillow from the beach or, or on the plane. Soft and comfortable. I haven't got it out of the packet yet. And it is a bit like a brushed kind of soft feel. How big is it? That's perfect. Blow it up on the beach, behind your head, and at the end of the day, you just deflate it down. Put it in your beach bag, done. So I picked him up one and what I might do actually is go and get another one just in case this one's got a hole in it. They're only a pound, so I'm going to go and get that. Um, yeah, they, they, these are perfect. Perfect from picnics or, you know, if someone's, I don't know, I'm, I'm guessing really, you know, if someone's got a bad neck or something like that. So um, for a pound, that's the packet. We're going to give that a go and see if it's any good. It's only a pound at the end of the day. Um, it's not, you know, major, major money. Uh, trainer socks for Sean. Um, he's got relatively small feet. He's only a size nine, so I can get away with the ladies, women's trainer socks in there um, for him to wear. They're two pound and you get five in a pack. Hairbands. I've always, I'm always, don't matter how many hairbands I buy, I guarantee after a few weeks I can only, I've only got one or two left. I don't know where they go. Um, so hairbands, the whole pack's coming with me. <laughs> Actually, no, I might take a few out and leave them here. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, a luggage scale. I don't know about you, but I sometimes get a bit paranoid about how much my case weighs. When I'm going out, I'm not bothered, but when I'm coming back, because I buy bits when I'm away, I start thinking, oh my God, it's going to be overweight or, you know. Um, so I thought, oh, I just take a scale. And I know with EasyJet, the most you can take, I believe, is 23 kilograms. This goes up to 22 kilograms. So I know if it starts going, pinging, trying to go past it, I know I've got too much in the case. So again, this is a pound. So I thought we'll take that with us so that we can just weigh the case because I'm planning on, um, obviously after Lou's had her baby the end of June, um, to buy some little baby bits and pieces out there. The Spanish do beautiful Spanish clothes, uh, knitted bits and pieces, their blankets. Not that he's going to need blankets because it's going to be a summer baby, but they do really nice little bits out there. We've got some lovely little local boutiques down um, not far from where, from where we are. So um, I'm planning on buying some bits and pieces. Um, so I thought, well, we better just take a scale with us just to, just to double check. And then the last couple of bits I've got, apart from my, my bag, I'm going to be taking this. Now, I actually bought this a while ago and I don't know whether they've still got them in there. But this is perfect for me. Look what it says on the front. Drink in my hand, toes in the sand. <laughs> so I thought this, I have got a beach bag, but um, this is just another little extra bag to take on the beach with me. So it, it kind of, you know, it hasn't got pound shop on it or anything like that. It's perfect for on the beach. And if it gets ripped, it gets ripped. So it's kind of my little second beach bag to, to take down with me. Now, when I was telling you about the checklist, this is what I wanted to show you. So in the pound shop, they do a essential travel packaging list. I've never seen this before. Mind you, I've probably never looked for it. Um, it's 88 pages. 
And on the back, it tells you your list of what you've got or, or what you're going to take, like a tick box. And you literally just tick off what you're, what you're taking. So it is your checklist. So I thought, oh, that's a good idea. Um, so, um, yeah, I thought, oh, we'll get one of them for a pound. And um, I'll tell you what, let's just open it. So we can have a little, a proper look. Wait a minute. Let's have a mouthful of me drink while I'm, while I'm looking at this. Oh, it's good, you know. So, they tear off, hold on. So you've got basics. So there's your list. So obviously you do your ticks or, or cross it off or whatever. And on there, thing, you've got things like magazine, book, um, travel checks, cash, car, wallet, adapters, cameras, headphones, batteries, vitamins, uh, pain relief, um, flip flops, towels, laundry bag, prescriptions, medication, umbrella. Well, I hope you wouldn't need an umbrella when you go away. Um, house keys, uh, uh, what else is on there? There's loads of bits and pieces, travel tickets, passports, wipes and tissues and insurance. And um, so not just your, um, physical things but things like have you done your travel insurance have you sorted your passport out passport out so that's a good little checklist i like that so your checklist then on the back of that you've got clothes and toiletries so your toothbrush your soaps your washcloth uh, sunscreen lip balm and stuff like that and then you've got your clothes on that side um then you've got outfit planner for the week. So you can actually write in there, so day one I'm gonna wear, oh, the costume. You know, day two I'm wearing a maxi dress. So you can actually write in your days of what you're gonna wear on that day. That's really good, isn't it? And then you put your start of the week at the top there. I like that. And then what's on the back of that one? So then on the back of that one, is again, um, another very similar items thing. So, oh, this is called, <coughs> excuse me, this is called carry on essentials. So this is your carry on bits. See, and then you just tick those as well. What a good idea, what a good little, what a good little um, essential travel packing list this is. Great, love that. And then my last couple of bits, you're going to laugh at the last one. Um, this one is little titty jars. So you put in your all of your essentials, you know, like your face cream, your eye cream. Um, if you don't want to take big bottles on the beach and you've only got a little bag, tip some in one of these little pots. Um, you know, your aloe vera. You could even, you could even, if you're going to, let's say, a hotel... Um, like uh, the night before or, or you're, you've gone away and then you're going to go and do a little mini road trip or something like that, instead of taking a whole big tube of toothpaste, just this, the very top one here is a tiny little pot. So you could just squeeze some toothpaste in that. You ain't got to take a whole tube with you. I'm all for trying not to take so much stuff and consolidating it all down. So I think these little jars are absolutely perfect. They're brilliant for me. You could even put your shampoo. I know you can buy the pump bottles, but they're off size. So to me, this is a no-brainer, you know? Your shampoo in one, your face cream in another one, your sun cream in one, your toothpaste. Do you know what I mean? You've got enough there, you could, even if you bought two of these. Instead of taking the, the bottles, they're, they're, a, they're a smaller size. So they was a pound and you get five in there. Um, Makeup wipes. I tend to use makeup wipes when I'm away rather than buying bottles of my um, my number seven moisturiser. I do take it, don't get me wrong. If I've only got some, like a small amount left, then I will take it because then I'll throw it away when I'm there. But I do generally take um, as well face wipes. Um, so I've got them in the pound shop and they were 50p actually. Um, not that I really wear makeup when I'm, when I'm away. In fact, I, I very, very rarely do because you're on the beach all day long. Um, you don't really dress up. Well, I don't dress up of an evening. 
Um, I do like to put a nice dress on, um, and I, but I just very rarely wear makeup. I might take my mascara, just put a bit of mascara on, and, and that's it. So for me, the, these are perfect. So a packet of those. And last but not least, and this is a funny one, toilet seat covers. I've never seen these in there, ever. Um, these are, I, um, they, I think they're made out of tissue paper. Uh, 18 in a pack, and you literally do exactly what they say on the lid, on the tin. You put them over the top of your toilet, your toilet seat. That's it. So, in the States, and I don't know about all states in America, but in Florida, um, every toilet you go in, whether it be a bar, a restaurant, even, even most of the shops like TK Maxx, the big stores, they all have toilet seat covers. Every one of them. Walmart, all the supermarkets, they all have them. So you go in, and as you open the toilet door, they've either got them beside you or they're on the door in front of you. And you pull it out, lay it on the toilet seat and do your wings or your business. And, um, and then what they do is they just get flushed in the toilet. They, they just disintegrate and they just go in the toilet. So they, when I saw these, I thought, oh my God, what are, do you know what? I, I don't know what it is, but I often think when I come back from the States, I'm going to buy a box because they sell them in, I think it's in the Dollar Tree uh, toilet seat covers. And I always think I'm going to buy them and take them home with me. Because when you're out and about, or you're in a restaurant, in a bar, I just don't like sitting on toilet seats. And I sometimes cover it with tissue paper or, or, or I'm sort of like hanging over the toilet like this without trying not to touch it. And I say the same to the kids. Don't touch the toilet seat. Um, it, it's just one of them things. So when I saw these in there, I thought, oh my God, I'm gonna get them. So they are coming with me and they will be in my bag. So when I'm out and about and I need to go, I've got my toilet seat covers. I, I just thought that's funny. Um, so I just had to show you that. Anyway, I'll see you all next week. So take care. To the pips, bye.